Okay, so if you happen to have some of these old mini DV tapes lying around, you might want to think about transferring the footage from these tapes into your Mac computer so they can be shared to YouTube, whatever, or just for saving for future reference. Now, in order to do this transfer, obviously, first of all, you need the mini DV tape. Second of all, you have to have your old mini DV camera because the transfer of the uh, footage is done by playing back the tape. So you have to have the camera that, that you used you know, many years ago. In my case, this hasn't been used in about 12 or 13 years. And what I recommend doing is uh, plugging in the power supply simply because these batteries are so old, the chances are they won't hold a charge. And uh, if the battery were to die midway through the transfer, it's not gonna work. So plug in the power supply. Next up, you're gonna use the Firewire cable that came with the camera. So in my case, it came with a Firewire 400. And it's important to note if you are using Firewire 400 or Firewire 800, and I'll tell you why. The transfer is made possible thanks to this Apple adapter, which transfers Firewire into the Thunderbolt. However, the Apple adapter only works if you're inputting Firewire 800. So for that, I've had to buy this adapter, which transfers the Firewire 400 goes in and the output is the Firewire 800. So what we do is we simply add the Firewire 400 to 800 adapter into the Apple adapter. And in my case, with this being the 400, the Firewire 400 cable goes into this adapter. So now we have the entire uh, cable is now running. So the Firewire from the camera into Apple Thunderbolt. So this would just simply go into the output of your camera, which is the old, um, I think Sony called it iLink, but also known as Firewire 400. So that goes in like so. And then obviously this goes into the Thunderbolt socket on the back of your Mac. So I'm gonna get this uh, hooked up and when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to operate the screens to get your footage from your old mini DV tape into your Mac. So now we have the old mini DV camera hooked up into the Mac and to get the footage from those old tapes into your Mac, it really is as simple as opening up this iMovie project, clicking on import media, and we can see here that in the list of cameras, it does in fact recognize the Sony DV VCR and has actually brought up the first frame of the tape on the camera. Now to get the footage from that tape into your Mac, you, all you do is you click on import. And by doing that, it will automatically start playing back the tape in the camera. And then I'm just gonna hit import right now. And I'll obtain a, just a few seconds worth for this demonstration. To stop recording, hit stop import. And that also stops the tape playing back on your camera. I'll close this window and we can now see that footage from the tape is now up here and can be brought down into the timeline which you can then edit. You know, can see here the volume is way too high on this, but you know, you can do any of the edits you would normally do with digital media, except now you're doing it with your old footage from the prehistoric days of tape. So I hope you found that interesting and I'm glad I found this technique because I have so many old tapes that I'm going to transfer uh, into the Mac and edit accordingly. So thank you for watching.